In this task, we uh, take a partition board and it's just a more formal way of looking at the idea of partitioning or splitting numbers. We still have seven counters here, but at the moment they're in this spot here. And all the children uh, need to do is split the counters off. So in this case here, I've split them off and it's four and three. But uh, we would bring them back. And maybe in one case they might do six and one. In another case, they might do the, the opposite of that. They might do one and six. Uh, what matters is that we're looking at different ways to partition. In this case here, I might point out as a bit of my teaching as I'm moving around the room or focusing on this activity, that six and one and one and six both make seven. So that's the commutative property of addition. And that would fit in the understanding part of the Australian curriculum in terms of mathematics. At some point, however, you may want some recording of this. So that's an A3 partitioning board. Well, what we might want to do is get the children at one case to record perhaps on an A4 sheet. And it might be that they do some drawings. Some children might be able to put the symbols in there. So they might have six and one, and they might have five and two, or they might have uh, four and three, or vice versa. So that might be a way of recording that sort of idea. And one last thing is, we don't want to give the impression that partitioning is only about splitting into two parts. So with a partition board, you can actually have a partition board that is split into more than two parts and look at the same sort of idea that sits there.